rounding and scientific notation. Now these concepts appear in every single IB Math Studies exam. Okay, so I'm going to look at both of them individually. So rounding and then scientific notation. And I'm going to use two numbers as an example. Let's use 35,783.423. And we'll also use a very small number, 0 0.007635. Now, these could be answers that you get from questions uh, in wider topics, and the question will ask to either round it to a decimal place or to significant figures. Or it may not ask you to round at all, and in that case, we're going to use uh, significant figures. So it's either going to be decimal places or significant figures. And let's say for example's sake that we ask for two decimal places. Well. Let's go and do these two examples, rounding our answers to two decimal places. The decimal places are after the decimal point, so we're interested in this number here and this number here. Now the question that we need to ask ourselves is, does the number stay the same or does it round up? And for to answer that question, we need to check the next number. Is it a number between zero and four or is it a number between five and nine? If it's between 0 and 4, this number stays the same. The previous number stays the same. So this will be 35,783.42. So that's rounding that to the second decimal place. For this smaller number, it'll be 0, 0.0. Now I'm going to cut it off after the second decimal place. However, this 0 here, the one that I'm drawing an arrow at, will round up due to this 7 being 5 or greater. So this answer will be 0 0.01. So there is two examples of rounding to decimal places. So we need to check how many decimal places the question is asking you to round to. Now let's go to significant figures. Well, by default, all IB exam questions ask for three significant figures. And the key concept to understand for three four significant figures is the first significant figure is the first non-zero number. So in this first case, this is the first non-zero number. For this case, the seven is the first non-zero number. And then every number after the first non-zero number is also a significant figure. So in this first number, this will be the first, this will be the second, this will be the third, this will be fourth, etc. For the bottom example, this will be the first, this will be the second, this will be the third, this will be the fourth, etc. Okay, so let's round these two numbers to uh, three significant figures. The first one will be 350. Now, I'm asking myself, does the seven stay the same or does it round up? And to answer that question, I need to check the next number. Well, it is a number between five and nine, so the seven will round up to an eight. Now, I still do need to include how large this number is. It's five digits long, it's tens of thousands. So this answer will be 350, sorry, 35,800. So there's the first answer rounded to three significant figures. Now for the second, 0, 0.00, neither of these are significant figures. The seven is the first one. Seven, six, now I ask myself, do I round this three up or do I leave it the same? Well, I round it up because the five is between five and nine. So this will be 0 0.00764. Okay, so there's a snapshot there about how to round to either decimal places or significant figures. And I also want to briefly touch on scientific notation. And often questions in IB studies exams will say, leave your answer in the form A times 10 to the K, where A is a number between one and 10, and K is a integer, and they, uh, they show that as, as an element of z, sorry, which is a integer. Okay, so what this means is we need to convert our answers to be in this form where a number in front of the times 10 is a number between 1 and 10. It could be 1.53, it could be 2.76, etc. And k is a whole number. Now I'm going to use these two numbers that uh, I showed the examples for rounding and I'm going to present them in terms of scientific notation. Okay, so for the first one here, let's look at 35,783,000.423. Sorry, 
and I'm going to present this in scientific notation. Well, currently the decimal point is here. I need it to be here because then the number will be 3.57 and that is a number between one and 10. So now my brain thinks, how many times do I need to move the decimal point? Well, let's count it. One, two, three, four times. So my answer here will be 3.5. Now I'm going to round my answer to two decimal places here. That's common practice for scientific notation. So 3.58, because the seven rounds up to an eight, times 10 to the power of, now what's this K here? K is just simply the amount of times the decimal point was moved. So it was moved four times. And because this is a large number, it is a number larger than one, the four will be positive. Okay, let's have a look at the second one, 0 0.007635. I want to display this in scientific notation. So currently the decimal point is here. I want it to be here because 7.635 is a number between one and 10. So I need to count how many times do I move the decimal point? One, two, three. So my answer will be 7.6. And again, I'm gonna round my answer to two decimal places. That's common practice for scientific notation. 7.64, because the three rounds up, times 10 to the power of three. However, this is a small number. It is a number less than one. So this is actually gonna to be to the power of negative three. Okay, there is a snapshot there for rounding and scientific notation. It's very important that you get a grasp on these to leave your answer the way that the question requests you to.